Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and welcome back to another episode of Eco. In today's episode, I'm actually using my new microphone, uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the sound of my beautiful voice, raw, without any like extra add-on on filters or anything from my old headset. I got tired of that thing, like just like literally squeezing the hell out of my head, to be honest. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna move on into uh, building and how this stuff is done. Basically, you just need a hammer. And once you do got a hammer, you just go and grab the item you want to use for your building, or your building materials, if you will. In this case, I am using, what is this called again? I can't even remember what it's called. Ashlar? It's uh, the granite ashlar. I'm going to use this for my floor in my factory. So, yeah. But I wanted to show you that you have to have the hammer as your chosen tool. And what you're going to do is hit F, and you're going to hold it down. And then you get all these extra, like different things here. This is your fill type. So there's a fill type and then there's a form. Okay, so we got lots of different forms as you can see here. Uh, we can make slopes, uh, supports, climbing, so stairs type things, and then we got ramps, uh, roof types, and then we got, what does that say? Trim? I, I can't even read that, but th this is where your walls are at basically and your um, fences. And then basic is where your cube, uh, full wall, floor and flat roof types are going to be at uh, for this sort of type. Each one of the items that you can use as a building material will have a different amount of things you can use in this area. Now I thought this was kind of cool because in here we've got uh, the braces and stuff like that. There's all types of different ones for the ashlar. We even have a chimney which is pretty cool. Uh, there is actually a fireplace a very decorative fireplace that goes with this chimney and it's really cool looking um, my brother I think already has one up I don't know but I'm gonna wait till I build my house to show you guys that uh, for now I'm just gonna focus on um, basically putting on a floor so I'm gonna cover this whole entire area that I have out here in floor and actually I want to also change my point type to I think it's uh, is it this one choose what zip block no uh, it's going to be a 2.1, so maybe like this. So yeah, this is a floor type. So floor and floor type, basically. Uh, right here is a big old hole. That's where there's a sand pit at. So it's like a sand mine, if you will. I'm going to go out this far as I can here. And there we go. I'll just go ahead and place those last two. But it's pretty easy to use uh, this build type stuff uh, with the hammer. So this is why I really like this one because, I mean, yeah, you can only carry like 20 blocks at a time, but you can literally just finish up your job real quick with these different methods of placing more than one block down at a time. So it's really helpful, if we're going to be brutally honest here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this entire floor and then move on into the uh, steel. The, um, what is it called again? Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. But I'll come right back when I'm ready to do that and show you the different uh, types of, well, things you can do with it. Alright, so now I've got all of the floor put in. This is, by the way, I, this is a 50 by 25 building. So now I'm going to grab the flat steel and we're going to take a look at it. As you can see, i got a whole bunch of different types here. Um, so we got the floating stairs and um, ladder, of course. I am going to be using, um, I think, the thin column for the corners. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like. I don't even know if it'll connect with the rest of the steel, to be honest. So let's do that. This is for the wall, isn't it? Yeah, so that's for the wall. So let's do wall type here. I gotta go up like 10 high anyway, eventually. Alright, so that's not gonna connect, so I'm gonna take that back. Let's see if I can't find something that's gonna connect support wise here because, uh,. I don't even think the column is going to work. 
Whoa. Nope, that's not going to work either. So let's go... We'll have to go with the... Uh, cube, I think. Yeah, and that'll connect with that. Hmm, I, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something for the corners. But I'm going to go ahead and just build up the walls. Uh, the tin high that I had planned on doing anyway. And I'll come back and show you guys that when it's done. Because um, once I'm done with building the walls, I'm not going to put the roof in until after I put everything inside. So I can make sure that tin high is exactly or perfect for what I'm wanting for this to do. So... We'll come back when I'm done with that. All right, so the building now is done, as you can see. And I've got a ladder up there to the where I'm going to start placing the roof. I'll actually have to put another piece of ladder up there because the, the roof will be capping this entire thing off. Uh, I just got one little door here so I can walk in and walk out for right now. And I do not know if I want to actually put windows in this because it's just going to be a factory. So it doesn't really have to be too beautiful or anything. It's just... I just needed uh, something that had a lot of space in it, and I just figured I'd go ahead and use the flat steel because, well, I've got a lot of iron, and I might as well go ahead and turn it all into steel and make it look kind of decent, I suppose. So this is going to be a Tier 4 room eventually when I get it done, but right now I need to start placing in the machines. Uh, on the outside here, I'm going to have a large lumber stockpile. So I will set these up first. I don't think that's going to stack that close. Okay. I need to put these right... Let's see. Let's go... How many are we in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I think I can just make those shipping containers. The steel shipping containers go a long ways on both sides of this. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, yeah, let's just do, let's have these guys just right across from those. Like that. And then I want to put, I want to put my um, flotation cells up above all of this I think so unless I I could put them I guess no because then the pipes will get in the way so yeah I, I still have to have these up in the air so I'm gonna go ahead and build a platform and I'll come back when I'm done with that okay so I uh, got this platform built got a ladder up here so I can come up and um, actually put in orders. I'm actually going to have to put another ladder on the other pole over there in the corner too. Um, basically I need the pipes to face outwards like that and I'm going to go ahead and turn this one and I think face it like that and this backslash unstuck. There we go. So that's all placed. I'm going to go back into first person mode. It's my hammer, and I'm going to create another ladder up to the other one. So basically why I want these like this up in the air um, is so I can literally crush all the copper and gold, send it straight up to those at the same time that it's being crushed, and then it'll go straight up into the containers on the roof for the blast furnaces. So at least that's my train of thought. Same with the belted machines here for the iron ore. It'll just shoot them straight up into some containers up on the roof so I can just run them straight through the blast furnaces and turn them straight into bars. Uh, so literally that will save me so much time I can get all the I can get all of it mined. So copper, gold, iron, I can get it all mined. Go ahead and start the crushers up with the respective ores and then just shoot it through the respective machine that need, needs to go through to, in order to turn it into concentrate and then send it straight up into the blast furnaces. And yeah, it's just a perfect system. And then all of this will be connected uh, with the blast furnaces uh, filter. Uh, so that way we're not polluting on the ground or anything. And I will do that probably in another episode because I am going to finish off this right here. And then I'm just going to put the roof on it. So 
basically this episode was just going to show my little layout here so um, for these machines and then the blast furnaces will be up on the roof obviously uh, I haven't figured out but I think what I'm going to do is bring the pipe through the wall um, on the side there and then send it shoot it right back through um, one of these walls here basically uh, did I do that right? I think I put those on right. That's the one that comes out, right? I think that's the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting on the roof real quick, which I'm just going to use this right here. So it will be um, flat roof. And it doesn't look too bad. I don't think it looks too bad anyway. Uh, let's actually cancel that real quick. Let's change it over to the the floor one. So let's just go like this and see what it looks like. So yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, there's different roof types that I could probably use of like a different type that's tier 4. But I mean, I want this entire building to be steel with the exception of the floor in here. Because in a factory, an actual factory, it's like reinforced concrete for the floors or even a better concrete type to be honest so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the roof and I'll show you guys what the completed uh, building looks like after that the roof is now completed as you can see here I am going to eventually in my own free time I won't even record it there's no bothering there's no point in bothering doing that um, I'm gonna put the four blast furnaces that's right I'm gonna have four blast furnaces now uh, two of them will be specifically for the regular smelting and the other two will be specifically for the um, advanced smelting uh, which is basically the two majority things that the blast furnaces can do anyway so that way I can split up the work and be doing normal smelting and super, uh, advanced smelting at the same time so I could basically make steel right after making iron bars at the same time uh, yeah so on and so forth uh, the other thing I'm going to have to be doing besides that up on the roof is adding, of course, the storage containers, the steel containers and stuff. I need to make a door, too, which I ran out of glass, so I'm going to have to make a flat steel door, which can actually takes glass and flat steel. Um, what are you doing in here, Turtle? Really? Uh, eventually, I'm going to put some uh, lights on the roof, on the ceiling here, uh, factory-type lights. The lights that run in a straight line across that you normally see in a factory. Uh, on this side of the factory, I will probably run... Actually, I'm going to run the coal, I think, up to the roof from uh, a large lumber stockpile down below on the side there. I have that one full. I'm going to place another one plus some large steel containers up top to transfer the steel coal... or the, the the coal over to the blast furnaces that way they have an unlimited fuel supply uh, as well as when I'm making steel I'll have coal readily available to make steel because it takes two coal uh, one quick lime and one iron bar to make one steel so gotta have all that and then all this extra space is gonna be where the rest of my machines from my old brick building so the mechanical machines they will be over here on this side and I'll have the water wheels on the back side so it'll be out of sight out of mind uh, and then all the rest of the space that will be that's available in here in this room will be used for storage. So there's that. And then once the steel containers up top get full of bars or whatever, I'll have it to where I can transfer them down to my truck and transfer them over to the storage area over there. Which, as you can see, I have one full stockpile of iron bars already with another one-fourth full stockpile behind the copper bars there, full of iron bars. So I've got plenty there to go ahead and make some more steel with. Uh, lots of copper and lots of gold. I'll have even more eventually uh, for us to use on this server, but uh, pretty much that's it. I think that's going to wrap it up. I just wanted to show you guys the different um, types with how the hammer basically is used is basically all it is because you need the hammer to make all these different designs and Ashlar I think has the largest amount of designs available to it right now. Now if they come out with um, other tier 4 items, I think actually I think composite so composite wood, I think, actually has the most. I think the second most is ashlar. I could be wrong about that. But I'm eventually going to be building a house out of the composite the composite oak uh, in the future. I have no idea where I'm putting it yet. But when I do that, I will actually show you guys the composite lumber. 
other words, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to make another video on when this right here is completely done. I've got everything set up and it's going. So when this is all going and it's actually a factory, I will come back and I will do another video, a short video on that. Hope you guys are enjoying these eco videos. I do really want to support this game. I really hope it becomes an alpha launch eventually, but we're still in beta. So uh, there's still a lot of bugs and stuff they're working on. I get that. But until it is like actually officially launched i don't see myself supporting a server with a lot of people on it because of all the bugs that we'll have and issues that we'll have uh because just with four people on this one we're already having a lot of bugs and yeah it's 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 almost a nightmare sometimes but they've been pretty good at fixing it even though they have a really small team so just enjoying that is enjoying as much as i can uh, while I can until uh, they come out with the 10.0 and then we're going to have to reset and have a new server. But until then, we're just going to use this as a creative server and get used to the game that way. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying these and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.